You probably consider a preacher trustworthy, but one Chicago pastor is being accused of trying to steal another man's family home. CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker sorts it all out. I think they bought that home back in the late 50s, early 60s. A faded photo shows a young Harold Tidwell outside the house at a family reunion. My aunt is leaving the property to me 100%. But this is a story of easy come, easy go. And I just lost it because I didn't know what I was doing. Tidwell literally gave the house away. Can somebody give God some glory? To a man of God, Pastor Fred McDonald Jr. This is the direction to convey. Convey. Definition, sign your deed over. Did you understand this? No, I didn't. McDonald wanted to buy the house and he convinced Tidwell to give him the deed to use as collateral to borrow $33,000 to complete the deal. That sounded very good. Once he got his hands on the deed, McDonald put a for sale sign in the window and put the house on the market for $79,000. And when Tidwell tried to get his deed back... He was very abrupt hung up the phone and haven't been able to get back to him since. A shyster, you know, that's how I would describe him. Reverend Tyrone Handy got a judgment against McDonald for $7,500. In 2012, Handy was pastor of the church. Back then it was called Build Up Community. He says he hired McDonald to repair leaks in the roof. The quality of the work was ridiculous. We had multiple leaks in the church. What was it about him that made you trust him, believe him? Well, I, I would say because uh, he was a man of God. Contrary to the word of God. This man of God has four complaints from the Attorney General's office, a list of civil suits, including one from Beverly Green, who evicted McDonald from his church when he failed to pay $6,500 in rent. McDonald wasn't home when we stopped by. The woman answering the door defended him. Mr. Tidwell is accusing Pastor McDonald of swindling him. He doesn't do stuff like that. We never reached McDonald, but his attorney called shortly after our visit, saying it was all a misunderstanding and that McDonald would return the deed. Tidwell says he also got a text from McDonald confirming the promise. I don't feel like I want to trust any more pastors and, and maybe not even religion from now on. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. Once the deed is back in his hands, Tidwell plans to put the house on the market. We will, of course, follow up with them.